Hello everyone, so IFOE has taken out its examination handbook like every other term um, yesterday for April 2023 attempt. So what I'll be doing uh, this time is that I'll be taking up all the important updates uh, which is different from last term which was September 2021 attempt, 2022 attempt sorry. So um, for uh, the entire video uh, I will ask you to first please refer to the September 2022 video and I will be adding that video in the description box and uh, I think you can see somewhere on top as well. So uh, please go through that video first and then here this is very important document where I'll be going through only those points which uh, is important uh, for April 2023 attempt which has changed um, and the there are only a few things which is different otherwise most of the things are similar so uh, what you have to do is first you have to watch that video September 2022 uh, video um, I have linked it above and in the description box below and then after that please do watch this video because this video will give you only the updates which have been made by IFOA specifically for this particular attempt Okay, so I have um, highlighted few things as well. So the minimum technical requirements are uh, more or less same as before. Um, there are no changes happening over here. Um, this gives you the entire examination flow as to how the examination will be conducted. It gives you what you have to do two weeks before the exam and the day before the uh, the day uh, of your exam. I will be discussing the entire checklist towards the end of the video so make sure you see uh, and you can take a screenshot of that entire checklist uh, and keep it with yourself and you make sure you follow all the steps which is two weeks before your exam and on the day of the exam so that is towards the end of my video so um, um, now this I'll cover towards the end just the only thing is that here on the day of the exam Make sure now some of the students I have seen that they are using the web versions of Excel and Word. This is not allowed in the exam. You have to use the desktop version of Excel and Word. You cannot use the web version of MS Excel and MS Word. Right. So uh, let me just quickly go through the entire flow. Um, so basically it will start. You will get the joining uh, instructions welcome email uh, this will start from 27th of March you will be receiving uh, from that which is two weeks before the exam they will ask you to verify um, your details uh, using your mobile number this ex uh, this step has been explained in my uh, previous video which I was talking about then you have to uh, complete all the steps um, of uh, upload check and download check then on the day of the exam uh, please make sure you check the date and the timing correctly because the timing mentioned is that of the UK timing so make sure you adjust it as per the Indian time um, if you are giving the exams from India India in April will be uh, four and a half hours ahead of the UK time so read all the documents that has been uh, given to you through the mail which you will receive on or after 27th of March um, download the exam paper from the same portal from where you have done the upload check and the download check um, then you have to save the work regularly very very important make sure you close your work before the time um, because generally I have seen students who extend uh, and who continue typing even after the exam end time uh, their paper uh, is not getting checked so it is being rejected by IFOA so make sure you do not do this in your exam um, then you will be having an option of uploading the papers and uh, in the upload after you have uploaded your papers they will give you an option to preview your paper so that you can see that you have attached the correct file if not then you can again just uh, close that file and uh, delete that file and uh, attach the correct one and then upload click on the upload button once you click on the upload button they will give you um, mail uh, they will send you a mail uh, verification mail that your mail uh, your uh, exam paper has been submitted um, successfully 
all right so these are the exam timings um now all the exams are 3 hours 20 minutes uh it includes your reading time it includes the downloading and up downloading time uploading time is plus 30 30 minutes but make sure that you do not end up writing uh after this time so if your exam is starting at 1 o'clock so 3 hours 20 minutes post that um which is uh, after 4:30 uh, after 4:20 you are not supposed to continue writing you have to close your work and you have to start submitting what i generally suggest students is that please close your file just after 3 hours 15 minutes um keep that 5 minutes safe with you um so that you do not end up closing it maybe at 3 hours 21 minutes right so always try to close it at 3 hours 15 minutes or maybe if you have done then 10 minutes uh make sure you save your work and then do not reopen the file and uh make sure it's not on the auto save mode because if your word file is on the auto save mode then it will change the timing uh, of the last modified whenever you open the file right so make sure you do not do that and upload the file correctly on the correct time there is no harm in uploading the exam paper before time because uh in that way you are actually saving the rest of your uh paper just because you want to write that additional two marks do not hamper the entire paper because of it right this is something which students are facing a lot so now you are recommended to use the minimum 2013 ms office version or above that so make sure you do not you you're not using 2010 or 2007 um then you uh, please do not create any additional files beforehand ms word ms excel you have to create the file on spot at during those 3 hours 20 minutes rename the file as per the naming convention i have put all of these covered all of these in my previous video then um you have um so data within the excel so for the cm papers specifically cm and cm2 they give you an excel file so data within an excel file should be copied and pasted directly into ms word if you are using ms excel for calculations screenshots will be accepted for marking but you will need to make sure the full workings are given usually do not do this if you are paste pasting a table for example in cm1 if you are doing a profit testing table if you are creating it in ms excel make sure you paste it in ms word along with the calculations uh data copied from excel is not linked to the source file so make sure it's not linked you just have to simply copy paste and this is a very important point uh some of the students keep on asking me you cannot insert a excel file in the word documents this is prohibited by ifa right so make sure it is not on the auto save mode also when you are submitting make sure it's not on only read mode because then the examiners will not be able to correct your file also it should be not password protected your excel or word file um so these are the things um which is similar to what is been done in past you are allowed um to use multiple screens for completion this basically means you can use split screen or maybe you have used another um just split screen that's it uh, there are no re restrictions on calculators so you can use any calculators although we prefer uh, fx es82 uh, plus calculators right so then they have shared the entire list of various mathematical notations which we can use this is again similar to what we have done in past and used in past and we have been practicing um since day 1 the next thing is um you have to ensure that you have completed all the equipment checks so this is one thing and we'll be also making sure that we keep on giving you the reminders but please uh, you can have a ca your calendar marked on 27th of march you will be receiving a mail from ifa uh, the joining instructions and everything uh, how to set up your uh, how to uh, visit the exam portal how to set up the portal and everything using your mobile number verification number so make sure you do that and you do the uh, upload uh, upload and download um check very very important if you are not doing this so if you are forgetting to do the upload check and download check you will not be able to give the exam for example i am appearing for cm1 and cb2 
I have to do the upload check three times, download check three times, which means I have to do for CM1A, CM1B and for CB2 paper separately. So three times I'm doing the upload check and download check. If for example, I've just done for CM1A and I forget to do it for CM1B, I will not be able to sit for CM1B exam and I will be disqualified from my entire CM1. So it's very important that you please do all these checks for all the papers separately even for paper A and B separately. Make sure your email ID and your mobile number are correctly placed in your login portal of IFOA. So if not, you can just go and check in the contact or uh, in the um, your login my account section. You will be having your email ID and your mobile number. Make sure it's correct and it's working. These are the very important mail ID through which all the communications from IFOA will be done. So make sure you save it and uh, maybe you can um, mark as safe senders so that you do not miss any mail or maybe it does not go to any um, spam or junk folder. Make sure you meet all the online examination hardware, software requirements. Make sure one more very important thing, whatever to whatever laptop you're using, from now onwards up till the exam make sure you're using that only please do not change your laptop pcs anything just maybe a week or two weeks before the exam this is strictly prohibited why because you have accustomed yourself um, with that particular pc with that particular laptop so it will be very difficult for you to um, accustom yourself to a new one all right then uh, the next thing that we have to keep in mind for the CS examination, which is your CS1 and your CS2 exams, you will be receiving uh, pre-material exams, pre-exam material that is uh, if they are giving any CSV files, Excel files or text files um, for uh, in the form of a data which you will be have, uh, having to use in your paper B. So in paper B, we generally import data sets in our programming uh, from CSV or text files so they might share these files beforehand so make sure your duty is to load them or uh, for CS1 uh, we also get um, R files so make sure you load it, in, load it properly in your R check whether the data uh, you are able to view the data set right nothing else to discuss with or discuss for you don't have to dis think about what kind of questions can come around this that you have to just prepare for just make sure the data that they have shared you are able to open it in our um, programming right for CP3 uh, those who are appearing for CP3 so you all know that you receive a scenario material three working days prior to your exam um, and this is working days so if your exams are happening on Wednesdays you might receive it on a Friday so it's three working days make sure you go through it before the exam right so all these informations which you see is similar to earlier examinations that we have um, taken all right so this is how the email that you will receive will look like so it will be received this will be the subject line welcome to online practical exams right and then it will give you set up your online practical exams account for the course name right so these are all course names every detail has been mentioned as to how uh, the steps will look like so these steps I have already covered in my previous video make sure you see that this is again as I'm repeating if you do not do the equipment checks before the exam not on the day of exam it should be always the minimum or the maximum date they can extend is the just day before just your one day before your exam and make sure you do it otherwise see if you're not doing it on the portal it will show you some red color line you must complete the equipment check before attempting to access the exam if you have done it it will show you a green color bar over here instead of red right Alright, so this is how you will uh, get the equipment check area. 
everything has been covered in my previous video if you are submitting multiple examination scripts so again this happens only for cp2 exam in cp2 exam we submit an excel file and a word file so make sure whenever you are submitting you select these files together and you upload it you cannot do it one by one so you also can practice this in the exam portal uh, when you are doing the upload check make sure you select a word and an excel file together and then upload it otherwise if you're doing it separately and once you press that upload button you cannot go back so if for example i have just selected my excel file and i have clicked on upload i cannot upload my word file now it will not be taken no matter how much you try not even through the email nothing so it's gone so make sure you do it at once you do it at together uh, in together again you can check this in your upload check this is how you can pre preview your file uh, whichever file you submit for the submission so this is how it looks like see so during the exam you are prohibited to collaborate so make sure please you give your exam on your own um in a closed room uh, secondly uh, please make sure that um you are not talking to any other candidate at that particular moment you are not using internet and also one more very important thing that you are giving referencing for the questions that you are using uh, about referencing i have talked in one of my another videos which i will again be um, sharing with you all in the description box below okay so this is how it will look like on the day of the exam again i have discussed this so it is your responsibility to save your work regularly if you are not saving it it's not i i for his responsibility do not reopen the file as this will amend the last modified time so make sure you save and close the document submit it upload it end of it and then after maybe uh, next day or day after you want to open it you can do it but please do not close it and open it again in the uploading time because if you are opening the file in the uploading time it might change your last modified time and if last modified time is greater than 4 hours uh 3 hours 20 minutes which is for if your exam is starting at 1 pm and if it is your 4:20 pm and you are opening your file after 4:20 pm it might change your last modified time and they will not take it for correction so make sure you do not do this remember save your examination script to a specific location on your desktop not in any kind of online app such as one drive this is very important for those who are using office 365 please do not and for other students who have access to one drive please do not use your one drive if you are using your one drive then you are giving it an online access and your last modified time might change so make sure wherever you are saving desktop c drive d drive whatever it is it should not be accessible to one drive right so make sure you do this and you check most of the times your desktop is also linked to one drive so make sure you check um, that and accordingly save your files it's it should not be on one drive so you can save it maybe on your d drive but if you have many too many folders then just be very very careful about it all right so if it is created or modified outside the exam time so for example my exam is starting on 1 pm and it is ending at 4 20 pm so um if i create the file before this time or if i save my file after this time my answers will not be corrected so it should be created within and saved and closed within this particular time period okay now as i mentioned let's quickly discuss before i cover the checklist there has been a few changes in uh, the cp3 examination so let us quickly discuss what are these changes so this is the mail that has been received um from ifo regarding the handbook so here um they will be able so now you will be able to download your joining instructions you will be able to join uh, download your joining instructions 
in the members area of your website so first thing you might be also receiving a mail as they have mentioned in the handbook also you will be able to check the joining instructions that is how to set up your account for the link to set up the account in the members area of march uh, from march 27 2023 you can find your exam joining instructions in my account area Uh, so when you log in into your website in the my uh, login my account section you have review exam bookings so when you log in into the ifoa portal ifoa uh, website uh, then you have my account in my account you have review exam booking section within that section you can see the joining instructions through that you can uh, uh, you can follow the exam portal link and uh, follow the steps i have mentioned in the previous video so information will include how to create and verify your details in the exam platform and how to complete your exam everything as i've discussed will also be given over there right so again they have mentioned about the late exam uploads so last time there were a lot of scripts which they did not check and they left it uh, left it uh, they, they gave them zero because the last modified time was outside the exam hours so you will be the results will be declared on 4th and 6th of july the exams are starting from 11th of april and ending on 27th of april now there has been some changes in the cp3 paper so as i've also discussed in my classes there are two questions that we get 90 marks and a 10 mark reflective question so here now the exam pattern has changed the first question the communication will be uh, not of 90 marks but it will be of 80 marks now so they have reduced this 10 marks now this 10 marks reduction is not only in the content portion but they will be reducing it across different sections we have um uh, uh, we have marks given for the numeric information the charts that we are making grammatical mistakes spelling errors jargons uh, layout uh, then uh, whether the title is suitable and multiple things as i have discussed so everywhere they will be taking some bits and they are making it uh, reducing it by 10 marks so now it is of 80 marks the second part which is the reflective question usually you used to get two to three reflective questions or maybe sometimes four reflective questions of 10 marks entirely now it will be of 20 marks so you will be getting somewhere around three to six questions of maybe two marker three marker four marker five marker or a six marker uh, and it will be of 20 marks and now they want you to elaborate and talk more in the reflective parts so earlier people who used to give maybe just 10 15 minutes now at least i will suggest that you should dedicate minimum 25 to 30 minutes to the reflective questions because now it's of 20 marks and it's very important that you at least target for above 15 so this is uh, for cp3 um right now let's move to the ifoa exam checklist that we have over here so uh, first of all make sure your contact details are up to date uh, log in into the uh, ifoa website make sure your web, uh, email id mobile number is correct so i have already done this for you all joining instruction will be uh, sent over mail from 27th march onwards ensure the time in your computer is set at your local time this is again very important so make sure what the time that is shown in your desktop is correct and as per your local time not as uk time because if you are setting it as uk time then it will be wrong and your last modified your file creation date will change so it should be what your uh, time is on the watch on the wall clock make sure the same time is on your desktop do not change it to uk time it should be same ist time that's it complete the platform uh, document do download and upload check so this is something very very important you have to do two weeks prior to your exam and make sure the uh, desktop or laptop that you are using for these two checks is same that you are using in the exam check the date and the start and time or uh, start date and end time of your exam very carefully lastly on the day of exam make sure um, you set up your exam area uh very important to have a very clean space you can keep pen paper for rough work if any uh you have your calculator in place 
prepare your exam notes to be accessible so as it's a, it's an open book exam so you can use some of the notes prepared by you recheck the start time and end time again during the exam uh, at on your day of exam so whenever you get up in the morning and obviously do a final upload and download check so this is again uh, maybe you can if my exam is starting at 1 pm so they may allow you to do the download and upload check maybe till 10 am of the day so if you have done it before again you can do it even if you don't do it, it's fine but again you should do it so that you know just to be um, sure that you have done it before and I'm doing it again so make sure you do the ex download and upload check before as you receive the joining instructions email and again on the day of the exam so these are the basic instructions um, again this is day before your exam uh, on the day of the exam uh, so I have talked about I have talked about the points I have talked about the points day before your exam now let's talk about day of your exam so suppose today is my exam day now you can uh, log in into the portal the exam portal maybe 15 20 minutes before the exam because once you log in it is uh, it will be logged in for six hours so till the end of the exam it will be still logged in you do not have to go through the entire login process again clear the cache of the device uh, that you're using if you want and then a uh, new word new excel file don't open it before the exam starts make sure you open it at the time of the exam during that exam time period and then save your answer script continuously upload the paper um, and keep on saving the work so that is what is all about as I've discussed save your examination script in an area where you can uh, find out easily because I have seen students just creating a new file uh, and when they are saving it they do not remember where they are they have saved the file when they are closing it and then when they go to the portal and start the uploading of the word file or the excel file they are not able to access the file and the, wo the word or the excel file from wherever they have saved it so make sure you know where you have saved your word file very very important right download and open your exam paper begin your exam make sure you have a desktop version of word and excel you're not using google docs or 365 online so once your exam has finished make sure you have saved your work closed it in those three hours 20 minutes now three hours 20 minutes is for uh, all the cmcs papers uh, just that for paper b it has it is a uh, one it is 1 hour 50 minutes and for CP3 as you all can see it is 3 hours 5 minutes so make sure you know CP3 is for 3 hours 5 minutes not 3 hours 20 minutes okay and then upload your examination script make sure you preview it you are confirmed then only upload the paper and then obviously you will get a mail a confirmation mail that your exam has been your paper has been submitted successfully thank you so much please see my uh, video i have talked about previous video i've talked about how to do the entire login and setup i have explained the entire process this was only for the important updates only regarding april 2023 thank you so much